for your uh, presentation. For your uh, presentation. All right, can you see that? Uh, I can, can, I can, see, that? I can uh, see that fine, just a sec, I got I it. Okay, now I can see that fine. We're going to go ahead with Ruth, and then we'll go right to Ukraine. So go ahead, Ruth, please. Okay, this is the Tennessee team. Go ahead, Norbert. Hello, we're from Sweetwater High School here in Tennessee of the United States. And our project, our presentation, is the American Dream Lunch Food Edition. Now, for lunch here in the United States, uh, most people have an image of that good hamburger right there for lunch and of that fat man right there as people from the United States. Well, that just is not true. Mostly, uh, we honestly do not eat hamburgers often, actually. In fact, we uh, surveyed a good many, actually 91 of our students here at Sweetwater High School and only 10 people voted for hamburgers and fries as to what they want for lunch. Uh, actually, our number one choice for lunch, for our preference, was actually chicken. Chicken wings, chicken nuggets, chicken strips. Uh, second was Chinese food with 19 votes. Then Italian and Mexican votes, uh, food each had 12 votes. And then hamburgers actually was, uh, had 10 votes, only 10% of the school population here. Our number one choice was chicken. Uh, this is a kind of chicken, the way we cook it here in our area, that we like to eat a lot, barbecue chicken. And with barbecue chicken, we like to have a side of what is called ranch dressing. And what we'll do is dr uh, dip the chicken in the dressing and eat it as a lunch. Then uh, we have Chinese food. Uh, if you know one thing about the United States is that we are a nation of immigrants. If you look at anybody's genealogy here in the United States, you will find somewhere, somebody coming from another country to live here. We have many different ethnic groups here in the United States, and one of them is Chinese. And when an ethnic group comes to the, our country, they bring with them their food, as well as their culture and their traditions. Now, people in China probably do not eat like this, but this is our version of Chinese food. And this is our version of Italian food. We eat pizza, spaghetti, lasagna, and we absolutely love it. Then there's Mexican food, burritos, tacos. And then there, of course, is that big, juicy, all-American hamburger, which only 11% of the people like to eat. And then you have sandwiches and subs, salads, and soups, which are healthier food choices, but just don't have that kind of taste. Now, our favorite lunch food choice was, of course, chicken wings. And we got a recipe that a lot of people in our area like to eat, like to make for that kind of chicken. And we call it buffalo chicken. That's the kind of style. And when you make buffalo barbecue chicken, what you need is vinegar, spicy sauce, vegetable oil, salt and pepper, butter, and, of course, the chicken wings. For uh, our lunch choices, we like to eat our chicken along with some kind of uh, side dish. Um, our choice today was Mexican rice. Like I said, we're a nation of immigrants, and we love to incorporate different cultures' food uh, together to make a big uh, mix. And this is our Mamacita's Mexican rice. To make Mexican rice, you use uh, peas and carrots or other forms of vegetables, vegetable oil, onions, tomatoes, cumin, salt and pepper for seasoning, chicken bouillon, and white rice. And that's our Sweetwater High School's uh, lunch preference. Thank you. Uh, do we have any questions? Anyone have any questions? That's very well done too. Okay, if no questions, we're gonna go on to the Ukraine. Uh, Nadia's group, please go ahead. And then we'll go to Turkey. Nadia's group next. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Nadia. Uh, well, um, we are going to show you a presentation of Ukrainian, um, Ukrainian food. Uh, I tried to download it. 
Yeah, if you download and put it on your laptop like they did, and then just do the share screen, it works the best. Um, I'm trying to do it. I'm. It's my first time, and uh, I am trying to find 